Good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. <clears throat> good morning, good morning. It's your brother J.D. Nijah, Word of Truth. Channel with J.D. Nijah, Jeff Deloach. From beautiful, world-famous Huntington Beach, California. Good morning. <clears throat> All praise is honor and glory <clears throat> to the Heavenly Father, the unspeakable Tetragrammaton, the Yahweh Vave, the Adonai, El Shaddai. One of the brothers was saying the, Elo the Elohim. These are all names that we know that the Heavenly Father respects and is called by because these are the names that the Bible tells us. Not Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Do not follow that. Do not follow that name. I'm going to prove it to you today. Coming in the name of Jesus Christos, the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega, the in agreement, Savior, our big brother, and the Holy Spirit that is these three spirits that come down from the Father of Spirits, that master, that Adonai. So we're getting ready for rain here in California. Southern California is going to get a nice couple inches of rain here in the next couple days, which is beautiful. So, uh, you know, I've done this lesson before, but I didn't break it down as well as I wish I would have. I think I, I wasn't sure about GMS. <clears throat> Great millstone, because to me, <clears throat> I'll just say it right off the bat. Um, all the places in the Bible that I remember, the millstone, it's not a good thing. It's a bad thing. So anybody that's going to name their religion after um, something that is so negatively connotated in the Bible. Um, it's kind of hard to believe that these guys would be following the, the scriptures in a way that's right. And we know now to this, I know, and I'm going to keep saying it, don't trust these, these rotten tares. We have the wheat and we have the tares. And um, the Lord made it pretty simple. These guys, these guys aren't the guys. They might look like, they might look like Israel, but they're wicked, 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 wicked. So stay away from these camps and stay away from anyone that doesn't believe in Jesus Christ. You can, you can call him Solomon. You can call him Josiah. You can call him Jesus Christos. You can call him Jesus Christ. You can call him, um, Jesus in Greek. It's the, it's the spirit behind the, the man that walked the earth that was God embodied. So don't let these camps tell you that, oh, it's all about the Heavenly Father. Uh, you can't, if you're Israel, you don't believe in, the, in Jesus Christ. You don't believe in, in, in that guy. You don't believe in the, pro, the great prophet. He's not, he's not who you worship. Yes, he is. Man, the, sh the bullshit that's coming out of people's mouths in these last days, it's thick out there, people. It is thick, 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 like their damn skulls. So that being said, thanks for being here. New subscribers, thanks for finding my channel. I know it's not easy. Um, no one wants to hear the truth of the Bible. The truth is... Huh, what is the truth? The truth is something that is going to be evil spoken of in these last days. And so when you um, actually tell people the truth, they're all going to have an excuse why they don't believe it. Everyone's going to have a reason why it's not true. That's just the way 
the Lord set it up. You have to, you're going to have to fight for the truth. You get, It's not going to just, you don't just get to be a Christian and, and get on down the road. This is serious business. So anyway, what we're going into today is the Great Millstone and these wicked ass fucking pharisaic Judite bitches that I'm starting to dislike more and more every day because the more I look into their their evil, wicked shit, the more I can see them clearly where we were looking through a glass darkly and they looked like they could be Israel. But now that the, the glass is clearing up and we can see through the fog, we see that these terrors are out here mingling among us, um, trying to get us ground down by this great millstone. That's what a millstone does. It takes the wheat and grinds it down. And it grinds it down with the tares. And that's that's how they do it. And then they sift it. And that's why the Bible said, Jesus told Peter, Peter, Satan seeks to sift you like wheat. And I've told GMS that. GMS and all you other black Hebrew Israelite monkey brain bitches, I'm not pulling no... I'm not pulling no um, punches anymore. You guys are, you guys are, in my mind, you're, you're some of the most wicked people on the planet. You are the devil. You are, you fuckers are Satan. Slaki of new subscribers. I get rough sometimes because the more I find out about these guys that claim to um, be Israel, it pisses me off because I am Israel and, and they're representing me. How, what an embarrassment. That's embarrassing. That's a, that's shameful. That's ridiculous. And people are falling for it. So I'm going to go through this and um, you'll see what a great millstone is. Um, in um, Mark 9, 42, it says, offend not the little ones. Do you know who the little ones are? Believers? Israel? Israel, you know who the little ones are. True Israel knows that the little ones are the Gentiles. When I speak to you churches, when I speak to you believers in Christ, Jesus, Solomon, the regenerated um, son of King David, um, he's the one that you follow whether you are Israel or not, you follow him in your churches and you believe that he died for you on the cross and that he resurrected and went back to the father and is standing there waiting for you to come home. You're one of these little ones. You go to church, you listen to a, a pastor explain what you need to do out of the new Testament to make it to heaven. You get baptized. You, you commit yourself to the Lord and dedicate your heart to him. And you're one of these little ones. You're, you, you're not Israel, but you're grafted in because you believe on the Messiah. And now I'm starting to become, I'm starting to become one of the greatest Bible teachers of all time, but no one knows it. <laughs> these things are true. The, this is the truth. So I, I look at the Bible and I've been looking at the Bible for most of my life and most of my other lives. I was probably a scribe or a or a recorder at one time because all this stuff is coming back to me now. And um, in math in Mark nine forty two, offend not the little ones. So I wanted to make sure I qualified who the little ones are. And it reads, and whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, it is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he were cast into the sea. So what do, what do these guys call themselves? They call themselves a great millstone. Why are they a great millstone? Because they are offending so many people. They're offending Gentiles. They're saying, you can't make it. They're saying, you're not Israel. You're not us. You're a devil. You're a white East Edomite. You're whatever the, all their nonsense that they spew out of their wicked ass mouths. Man, I can't wait for their mouths to be shut up. 
They're wicked. They're stupid. They're, they're vain. They're working for the devil. So that's one part where it says, you offend a little one. You offend one of these churches. You offend one of these believers in me. Let me read it again. And whoever, whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, it is better for him than a millstone were hanged about his neck and he were cast into the sea. So we see that the millstone gets cast into the sea. Why is the millstone cast into the sea? Let me, sh let me show you something. Um, in Revelation, let me turn it around. You need to see my face for this one. All right. Uh. Good morning. Babylon will be thrown down. This is Revelation 18, 21. Listen carefully. It, it train tracks along with the last scripture we just read. Let's start in, um, let's start in 20. Rejoice over her. We're talking about the Babylon falling. Babylon is falling to, to this day. Right now we can see Babylon is crumbling. The, the, the whole system is crumbling. These wicked people are, are done. Everyone that keeps pushing this wickedness is going to be, I'll, I'll read it to you. Rejoice over her, thou heavens, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God has avenged you on her. So I talk about this a lot, how um, vengeance is the Lord's. And yesterday I was talking about how I'd love to um, do some kung fu fighting on... Um, on these wicked apostles of great killstone. That's my carnal side. It's it's hard for me not to want to. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Do, 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 do. Those cats were fast as lightning. Yeah. Just saying. Um, but anyway, let me let me continue. Rejoice over her, verse 20 of Revelation. This is the revelation of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. These guys hate when you say Jesus Christ. So I'm going to say it all the time. I believe in my Lord Jesus Christ, Great Millstone. It's the spirit, boneheads. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God has avenged you on her. Verse 21, Babylon will be thrown down. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, thus with violence, everybody was. <laughs> and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and be found no more at all. They're going to be, these fucking wicked, Salakia, these wicked men are going to be so far outside the temple, where we're, we're going to know they're out there, but the only ones that are going to have to deal with them are the heathens that are, that are down outside that temple too. They'll be out there. Listen, what happens? And the voice of harpers and musicians and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee. No craftsmen. That's witchcraft. They're not going to be able to work their biblical witchcraft on you. They're not going to be able to sing a song that doesn't make any sense. They're not going to be harping on you to worship Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Kokakadash, Kwam Yasharala. No, 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 no. 
No, no, no. Done. No more. At all. And the voice of the Harpers and the musicians and of Pipers. Let's see what Pipers are. So these guys are. They're piping a bunch of bullshit. Um, Pipers are flutists. They're, they're, um, they're the ones that are getting you to follow them like mice. Who is that guy? The, the flutist of Ireland. Forget what he was called. The Pied Piper. No more Pied Piper. No. No. Nah. Uh-uh. No more Pied Piper, Tahar. No more Pied Piper, or Ram Lop. Nah. uh nah. mm -mm. You guys are done. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be so smug when I see you guys fall. I'm going to be like, I told you all. And anyone that's following them, I'm going to be smug at you too because you, you didn't listen. I'm telling you, the Bible, the Bible is telling you right here. There'll be no more craftsmen, no more witchcraft, or whatsoever craft he be. Witchcraft, warlock, sorcerer, wizard. That's why they wear those capes. Shall be found any more in you, and the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in you. You're not. We're not going to have to hear it anymore. Why would you name your? Why would you name your Bible, your Israelite group, Great Millstone, unless you're a fucking devil, Salakia? It's over. It's over. It's over before it's even started. You guys think that you got, you're going to capture people? I'm going to fight you niggas to the end. I don't have no fear of your stupid black Hebrew Israelism. Come and get me. Come out to California. Come out to Huntington Beach. I'll, maybe you can get some truth. Sick of these fuckers. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in you. No more light. And the voice of the bridegroom and the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For by their sorceries were all nations deceived. Do we see it? Do we see these guys pushing Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos? The only problem is there's no Native Americans or Latinos involved. It's all a bunch of black-hearted, fucking wicked Hebrew Edomites. Salakia for, for my anger. Don't judge my short temper. Don't you judge. Don't you judge my short temper. That's Big Mountain. It's called Hooligans. Don't you judge. Don't you judge my short temper. And in her was found the blood of prophets. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't get it all. Thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by their sorceries were all nations deceived. Verse 24, Revelation 18. And in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. Is that the bunch of idiots you want to follow? Great millstone? It says it right there. The angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea. Can't wait. You see where I'm at? I'm at the sea waiting for the waiting for these guys to get cast into it. Can't wait. Let's see what I got. 19. I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna go back to Mark and read this again. So you can get it, so you can get it nice and juicy. Right? Um, it was in Mark. I don't know. A divided kingdom. That's what we got right now. Friggin' divided kingdom. So, I, I've been saying it for a while. And I tried to be gentle with these idiots. But... I, I'm, I'm not compromising anymore. 
You know where I've, how I've gotten torn down by people? By compromising with their nonsense coming out of their mouths. Believe in what they say. I don't believe, I don't believe, I don't believe nonsense anymore. Fuck people's nonsense, lock you. To hell with people's nonsense. And whoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, this is Jesus, this is red letter, this is the blood speaking. Whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, it is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he were cast into the sea. It sounds like these guys are just going to end up in the ocean. They're going to end up in the sea of heathens. They're going to, they're, they are the sea of heathens. So I'm going to go into, um, we're going to, I'm going to shut it down and come back. We're going to talk about, um, the wheat because what a great millstone does is it, it, it grinds grain. It grinds wheat. So, um, what we're going to go into in the next lesson is what is great millstone doing? They're grinding the good seed. They're grinding the good children. They're grinding the, the believers. They're grinding us down. They're grinding. They're grinding. They're grinding. And that's be behind them, Sakari and all these other wicked camps, Kyrie Irvin and, and Kanye West, these blood sucking baby killers, these blood sucking devils. They're pushing, they're pushing everyone into a very dangerous position because they're claiming to be people they're not. They're claiming things that aren't true. They're pushing people into confusion. And I'll be back. We'll talk about the weed a little bit because it's very interesting what I found out about wheat. Shit, I might as well just keep going. I have a few minutes left. So what weed is... Wheat is a is symbolic of charity and love, of prosperity, of productivity, of abundance. That's the wheat. That's why the difference between the wheat and the tares, the tares are the, the weeds. They're the, they're they're gonna be bundled up and burnt. Or thrown it cast into the sea. Wheat is symbolic of charity, love, prosperity, productivity, abundance, life. So the seed that falls to the ground, Jesus said that seed falls to the ground and it must die. What he's saying is it has to go into the ground. The seed dies, but it sprouts up anew. That's born again. You're, you're being renewed. You're a good seed. He's bringing you back. That's why men of the Lord will have children. Do you ever hear GMS talking about their children? My line almost died out. I have much wheat now. I have prosperity. It has life, birth, and resurrection. My family was resur literally resurrected from the dead through me. My dad was the last in my line. My line would have died out if my dad wouldn't have had me. It took him seven years. It took seven years from my sister to me. Seven years is a, is a number of completion. And now what is it? I have two sons and three grandsons. They're all Deloches. These are the things we need to talk about. What is what is the seed of Christ? What is rebirth? What is family? What is Israel? It's not this stupid ass, we hate women. We hate white people. We hate the Gentiles. Hateful fucking idiots, slock you. I get riled up, man. These guys are claiming to be me. Everybody was kung fu fighting. I'll be back. We'll talk a little bit more about the wheat. I hope you're having fun. I got to have fun doing this. 
and and I one of my go to things is anger. So, yeah, I'm mad. I'm mad at all the nonsense going out into the world about Israel. I'm going to be the one. I'm probably going to be the first one of the first ones to get his head cut off, running over there, going, "Fuck you!" So I'm sick of it. JD Niger, Word of Truth. I love you, believers. You little ones, I love you. You churchies. The Lord loves you. That's what Jesus came for. He's like, fuck these Israelites. I'm going to find people that worship in spirit and truth. And that's you. So don't be ashamed to be a Christian. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ reigns in agreement. J.D. Nigel, I'll be back. We'll talk a little bit about more about wheat.